All right, so I decided to do a quick follow-up on my tank, my new tank, my Reaper Plus from iJoy. Uh, I pretty much gave it a good review the first time. I said uh, in comparison to my Kanger Tech, it has a big old bore hole, which I like. You can see right down up in there. And um, basically, I'm just doing an update to let you know I've had it for a couple weeks now, and I haven't experienced any more leaking. As long as you close off those big old holes you see right there when you refill the juice, which I just did, you shouldn't get any leaking. Hits like a champ. Nice, solid, consistent hit. Good on low temperatures and high temperatures. I think the flavor is much better on the high temperatures, though. I think I got the .3 in there right now. Stainless steel goes up to 80 watts. It also has a .4, I think, goes up to 100 watts. I could be wrong on those specs, but something close to that. Got her on 69 watts right now. She's hitting like a champ. So, yeah, just wanted to update you guys. If anybody's looking for a new tank with the nice top fill, let me show you that real quick. There she is. Can you see it? I just lifted up that uh, that lip, and there's your hole for your, your fill. Just put the juice right up in there. It's not messy at all, no leak. And then you just close that down like that, and you're good to go. Yep, so that's that uh, Kanger, I mean, excuse me, the iJoy, iJoy Reaper Plus. Check it out. It's a good price, a good product for the price. Enjoy. On my Sigeli, of course, with my new Game Boy. Oh, that's not a Game Boy. Nintendo remote control. You know that shit's fresh. All right, I'm gone. Peace.